Hello everyone. Today I'll show you how to create balanced charge battery pack using old laptop batteries and TP4056 modules. First of all, we need to understand how balanced charger works. So let's take a look. For example, here we have three batteries in serial making one system. On the other side, this is a ballast charger that we use for charging this system. As we can see, this is charging control logic here. Those are transistors that are used as a switches. And let's take a real situation, for example. The first battery uh, get charged at 4.2 volts and the second and third batteries are charged with 4.0 volts. In the next few minutes of charging this battery will get to the 4.3 volts and second and third to the 4.1 volt. Th that moment Charging control logic turns off this line here and stop the charging of the system. But also turning on this one, this switch and close this circuit here. This resistor jump in action and trying to discharge this battery. When Battery get to the 4.2 volts, switch is going off and charging continues through this line. As you can see, balance charging uh, less long, take really long time and depending on these cells here, if they are big, much bigger, for example if we have two more here, this resistor is really small and this discharge can be too long. So what we'll try to do is to avoid this, all of this, but also to have a system to charge every single of this cell balanced. How we will do it? We'll see now. If you connect batteries and TP4056 modules like this, you will find out that this is really wrong way to do it. On a really short time, the modules will get overheat because on the output ends, it would be created really big uh, difference in potentials because this connection here. To create big balance charge battery pack using TP4056 we will need a system of a switch like this. We need to disconnect batteries especially this connections here when we want to charge the battery. How it would look like, let's see here. Here we have a system of TP4056 with three batteries and we are using a switch like this. This switch connects these two nodes when it goes right and these other two nodes when it goes left. So here if we imagine that this is a state of the switches we will see that we have circuit all to through all three batteries and we have big potential here 
at the same time these nodes are off the grid so we have protected those modules from this potential now if we want to charge the batteries especially to charge every cell for itself using TP4056 we can turn these switches on the other side and at the same moment these nodes here and here would be off and this connection would be made so we will have closed little circuit around the battery and this TP4056 module can charge the battery to the 4.2 volts when it finished the LED indicator will turn to blue or green and we'll know that this cell is full 